Hey everyone, I'm Adam Kelly. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can switch between two different cameras in a Blender animation. So in the past, I've always just moved my cameras around and I've never actually switched between cameras, but recently I had to figure out how to do that. And the way I did that was actually not the most intuitive. So I figured it was worth a video. So what I'm going to do to show you how to do this is I'm going to first switch into 3D cursor mode to make it a little easier on myself. I'm going to shift D to duplicate this camera and then rotate it around the Z axis. I'm guessing you've already got two cameras set up, so I'm not worrying too much about scene setup at this point. Now, one problem you might have is even being able to view from the other camera. It's kind of hard if you hit the zero key on your number pad or if you hit the tilde uh, right next to your one key on your keyboard, um, you can go to your view camera. Even if you've got this selected, it's going to go to that main camera. So one way to change this is you can go into the view, sorry, the scene properties, and you can switch your main camera. And then if you do that again, you're going to view from the different camera angle. So now we've got these two different cameras, and at some point, in our animation, we want to switch between them. So I'm going to assume that we're going to start here and then we're going to switch to this one at some point. So we're going to pull up our animation timeline here and we're going to select our first camera. And then what we have to do is place the marker where you want it to start. And then you go marker, bind camera to markers, and it's going to show camera right here. Now we need to go to wherever on the timeline you want it to switch to the other camera and you go marker, bind camera to markers. And then let's say we wanted to switch back. We'll choose somewhere else and we'll select this one again, marker, bind camera to markers. So now we've got these different cameras here and when we switch back and forth, it's, you can actually kind of see right here, the triangle gets solidified based on which camera is active. But if we switch into camera view, sorry, make sure you have your cursor here before you hit that zero key on the numpad. Um, if you move it, you're going to see it changes. And if we hit play, it's going to go for these frames. Then it's going to switch. And then it's going to switch back. So that's how you switch between different cameras. And if you render this out, then it's going to respect those camera settings. And you can also move these around a little bit if you want. You can just move them like left and right. And if you move here, it'll switch there. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give us a like. Let us know what you thought in the comments. If you're looking for more content like this in the future, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching.